Hello, sir. Would you like to move into our village? We have new houses available. Uh, depends on what you're selling, I suppose. Garbage, 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 garbage. Never mind. No more vacancy. Hey there, Brewberries. Whoa. Wow. I am so sorry. That was such a close-up on my face. Uh, but hey there, Brewberries. What's up and welcome to another episode in our hardcore world. Today, we are back and we're going to be getting right into some things because I am just very excited for what we're going to be doing. So last episode, we built that cute little bridge look at it isn't it so cute also i'm putting my armor back on i never feel safe without it uh cute little bridge and extended the river so that it actually connects up i think it looks wonderful and is a very nice addition to our area uh have not done a ton of work in between uh, last episode and now uh, but you can see a little bit more planning has been done this is what i did predominantly uh this morning was plan a bit more out on these buildings because we did a little bit of town layout last episode but not too intensive we talked about what each build is going to be as you can see there are signs indicating what they're going to be uh, but we did not do a super extensive amount of planning essentially what we're going to do what we are well what we're going to do today is work in this area which is going to be what i am calling the worksman quarters uh, area of the town so all of the main villager professions will be over here um, there will be a few perhaps that are over in this area uh, but I'm leaving this area pretty open to really whatever we want to uh, come up with so if you guys have ideas as to jobs you would like to be in this sort of more market square area uh, definitely let me know this will be a lot more stalls uh, maybe a little less houses and more, if anything, just like pure shops that people would have to leave for the day and go back to their houses or something. And so this is a lot more of a free area to be working in uh, when it comes to Minecraft creativity. Uh, and so if you have a profession you would like to show up here or you have like some something uh, like, I don't know, woodworking or something like that, that would show up more here because it is not a designated Minecraft profession. But we're not working here uh, today, so we're going to be talking about this. Now, as you can see, all the planning I have done is a little bit more intricate than we did last episode. And uh, let's run through that real quickly. So last time we talked about some individual professions that we wanted. That area back there where this uh, sort of cliff wall looking thing is, it's going to be all blacksmith stuff. So it's going to be the armor, armorer, the toolsmith, and the weaponsmith. Uh, those three, I think, should all kind of go together. And so they're going to be almost like a family business, I think. It's the easiest way to kind of incorporate that. Uh, and so that's going to be up there. It's going to be a much more, a bigger, almost compound type of thing that you go up to and kind of visit the the main family business. So it's going to probably be a bigger house as well. And I think we're going to utilize uh, some older building techniques that the uh, ancient people here gave us. Uh, and so they'll have a, a pretty cool house, I think. I haven't quite figured it out yet, uh, but that's what I'm kind of thinking for back there. But today what we're working on are the villager stuff, these villager profession houses. And just to run through them very briefly, uh, this is going to be the mason as indicated by terracotta because back here right in this area is going to be just a little workstation to make various things like ceramics and all that stuff. Um, boy, I cannot wait until the archaeology update stuff goes through because I think that's going to be really, really cool. Um, but the mason is going to be right here. Very small house, nothing too particularly interesting. And I think, honestly, there's not there's not going to be anything shop-oriented in the house, so it's probably going to be a single story. Then we come over here to the uh, potion cleric shop, uh, which is going to, be, going to be one of the bigger uh, houses. And so this is going to have maybe a little turret or something right here. Um, and then it's also going to be, this is going to be a horizontal house right here with a little bit of a jut out right here. Um, and then this is going to probably be the primary store action area. Uh, this is going to be where th most things are sold using the barrels also. Isn't this kind of cool? Bottom of the barrel texture has a nice texture to it. 
Uh, and so we're going to use that as sort of like a little plateau area. And then I think maybe putting slabs on the outside, it's going to be really nice. Um, so that's going to be the potion shop. This is going to be the leather worker. This is going to be where the leather working is done. And we're probably going to make a raised platform as well. This is going to be a little sign, just signifies like a little turret or something like that, just to make a little bit of an interest. But predominantly, I think this is going to be a single story house with the main living situation kind of chopping this off right here. Uh, then maybe we'll put like a chimney or something right here. I don't know. And then this house is going to be the cartographer. And I don't think we're going to do too much to it. Cartography, I don't really think necessarily needs a ton of room. And so I'm thinking maybe this person is more of a situation where they do their craft here and more is in the sense of like writing, I think. Uh, and so they would work in here as well as in the library. So they kind of already are covered in the library. Um, and so I kind of want to just extend this by another, I think five or four or whatever it is, just a general villager profession style. So three and then oak. Uh, and we're gonna do that, make it just a small, unique little house. Maybe what we do is we can actually do this and kick it out. I think something we can do to just make it a little bit more interesting, just to, just to make it so it's not feeling super flat, is just kick it out a little bit and make it have a, a small section. I've tried to do that on a lot of these, as you can see. We've got the general villager style, and then because they're gonna need shops and stuff, I make them just a little bit bigger, but predominantly it's either working in five by five or seven by seven. Also, if you hear sounds in the background, uh, that would be a garbage truck going by. We have garbage that gets picked up and so they are just a dumping things. And then finally, this house, the kind of, it's gonna be a little unique because it is even. Um, this is gonna be the Fletcher. This is gonna be the main area for the uh, uh, fletching, I guess. Uh, and so I'm gonna extend the house just a little bit, not make it any particularly interesting because it's already even. Uh, I think it's already uh, semi-interesting to look at. And so we're not gonna do anything too particularly crazy. Just change up the roof a bit, maybe change up where these little uh, oak logs are, maybe put them up one or something like that. Uh, and then obviously Mr. Farmer here is not going to actually be a farmer. But that is what we're gonna do today. I think that is a great plan. It's gonna really flesh this area out, make it feel very nice and alive. So let's go ahead and get all the buildings made. And then I think we start working on the atmosphere portion of it on camera a bit and kind of talk through that some. And then, yeah, I'll be back. Okie doke, so we got a good amount of building done, and now we actually have buildings over here, besides the uh, two or one that was over here. And it's looking pretty good. I tried to make them a little more unique, but they're all pretty much Minecraft villager houses, just with a little bit more detail added. And yeah, I'm very pleased with how all of them have turned out. So this one, I didn't change hardly at all, except the roof style. Uh, this is the exact same size of building and everything. Uh, you're not going to be a farmer no more. Get out of my face. Uh, kept it even and then just added this sort of small turret on top just to give a little bit of uh, extra flair to it. Added this uh, outer deck area, which doesn't have all of the dark oak fence because I don't have any more dark oak, but I have some growing over there, so that's okay. This is going to be the fletching area, so I made the fletcher. I, I figured the work area will be out here, uh, so I think I'm going to make maybe a little canopy area uh, covering this, and I think that'll be good. Not necessarily covering all of it, just maybe right, right here. 
uh, and making this small quadrant an actual working area. Then this one looking pretty much the same. Not This is just going to be a house, and then the actual workstation will be back in this area. I think that'll look good. Uh, the potion shop looking pretty interesting. Oh, looks like I missed a stair there. I'll get that fixed. Um, potion shop, it's going to look very interesting. It's got multiple different roof kind of uh, heights going on. I think overall it looks pretty cool. It's got a nice little turret that goes up on the top. Uh, this is going to be kind of the main potion uh, buying area. And then I think the potion brewing is going to be happening all right in here. And then this is two stories. So we're going to make it so there's maybe a staircase that goes up. And that's where the living situation will be. It would just be cram packed into here, getting all the natural light from the uh, little turret up top. I think that it will, that will be good. Only issue with this actually is so I thought I thought that if you, you could break any workstation and you you didn't need silk touch. Well, it turns out you do need silk touch when breaking the potion brewer. So we don't have one. So I have to go to the nether fortress and I have to go and actually kill blazes to actually get it. And so that's a bit annoying, but that's okay. We're not going to be focusing on this today. I'd actually like to focus on the leather worker. I think it's going to be a more fun and interesting building. Uh, and I actually, I just like the, the shape of it. I think it's really cool. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to be focusing on this. I, and then I'll be doing some of these, uh, for today's episode as well, just kind of at the end. Um, but not going to focus on this. I'm going to save this, I think, and we'll kind of start next episode, I think, off for this because this is going to be a bigger deal for our world. Uh, so I want to give a little more time for it. Uh, leather worker, though, I think it's going to be interesting. So I made this little canopy. Um, I was just testing to make sure I had enough uh, campfires, and then I realized I don't have a silk touch axe. So that's why they are there currently. Um, we are going to have like a nice little canopy area over here. Uh, and then this is going to be just like the workstation. I honestly may actually break these with my pick if I can. I think I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to break these and actually make it go down at an angle. Ooh, it's a slow burn, but we'll get there. But I think I'm going to make these come down at an angle, actually. And now I'm going to have to get on top of there. Oh, my gosh. OK, this is annoying. So first things first, uh, instead of making that angled, I decided to just lower the block. And I think it looks fine. I mean, we'll always be viewing it like in this angle. And so we'll, we can maybe if it still looks strange to us in the end product, we can always do something to that last row to make it feel like it connects up better. But I don't think that is going to be that big of a deal. Um, what I would like to do now is go through and add the supporting structure to this. And I think what we're going to do is introduce a little bit of a mixture of the villager sort of palette, as well as make it a little bit of the ruinous material from the lost civilization peeps. I think that would be a good thing to include. Let's actually do that one there and then do that here. Uh, and so now we're gonna have a little bit of a pillar structure holding it up. And then I've got some gates right here, which will make for some interesting sort of support structure, I think makes it feel like it's at least a little bit supported. Um, and then on the other side here, boop, 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 and boom. So now it looks a little bit more supported. I think that looks great. And so one thing that I want to add into this that I've been kind of playing around with a little bit here is I want to throw in a little bit of maybe what used to be the old building structure um, into this build, but I want it to be almost like they are, he, the, the person here is using it uh, in a very different way that maybe isn't exactly what its intended use was. Uh, because I'm going to go through and I'm going to change up this wall right here to show a little bit of the block palette of the sort of uh, abandoned town type of uh, look at like the aqueduct and stone brick stone stuff. Um, because I want this uh, part where the actual leather working is done to feel like it's like the very last bits and pieces of what used to be the sort of old town area. And so I want this to feel 
just a little bit like this, just like this chunk right here. I just want this chunk to feel like it's something that is being kind of taken over and they've kind of over like not overtaken it exactly, but like added on to what used to be there. Uh, and so I think adding in just a little bit, if we can grab some stone, uh, maybe a little mossy cobble and then some stairs and slabs. I think if what could also be interesting is just adding in some kind of ruinous feeling stuff at the bottom here. Uh, I think that will potentially add a lot uh, to the build because I just want it to feel, I keep path blocking everything, goodness. I want it to feel as if it's been, it, this part of it, the build has actually been here for a while. Uh, and so I haven't truly thought out a ton as to what this is actually going to be like. I think this needs to change to these if we're going to have that there. Um, and it's just kind of like my my kind of gut feeling says we should change some of this up to feel a little bit more ruinous. And I, I don't really know if this will work, but I would like to do this just to make some of these builds feel a little bit more tied to this aqueduct style and also to like the spider farm. Now, obviously it's not gonna be overtaken by weeds and stuff because these villagers may be dinguses, but they are cleanly dinguses. And so some things that would definitely need to be a part of this build would be things like, let's add uh, a stair here and perhaps a stair here like that. Um, what I would like to do is add in per perhaps, maybe we actually make this on a lower part and maybe this one can be kind of at an angle. There we go. And then we do a little bit like that and we just add in some leather armor and then we'll just make this one the just regular leather. Um, and then the reason we built this weird thing is I'm thinking that it could be maybe we throw in just a teeny bit of cobble here just to vary it up a little bit maybe a little bit right here as well i think that looks good um what i want to do is essentially add a leather drying station or a, a tannery type area and i think that would be good because then we can kind of just plop some leather right on in there and it's like it's kind of drying this is how how they are drying it in this world and they're using the old structure uh, to be able to do that and maybe we take our crafting bench but we could toss that right there this guy i think actually could go perhaps right there uh, and then maybe we make another item frame or two and toss maybe that there put some leather right on in it uh, let's do a little fun angle right like that uh, and then what else? What else would go here? So we've got the sort of drying area. Oh, I wanted to actually throw a couple of rotten fleshes in to show like almost like this is wet, this is dried. Uh, I thought that could be kind of interesting. Uh, I think it would be good if maybe that was filled with water. That looks good to me. Um, what else? I don't really know. What else we would need to add to this exterior area? Uh, if you guys can think of anything to make the leather working area a little bit better, I obviously am not a leather worker, uh, so I have very limited knowledge on this, but this is kind of the idea that we're going with for this particular little area. And uh, do we have any more stairs? Because I would like to add just a little bit of flair to the floor here, make it feel crumbly and old. And then I think the last thing that we need to do is make it so people can't just, you know, join willy nilly. I think that that would be good. Maybe what we do is we take a little bit of this. Uh, let's just take the cracked stone. I think that'll be good. We'll take the cracked stone, put that right there. Put a stair right there and then put a trap door right here and boom that is how they will make it so that people can't come in uh, and so they're kind of just utilizing let's maybe take this slab away and perhaps we do a stair here just to be like a makeshift counter that they've made or perhaps we do it this way i think this could be good yeah like that and then we'll just add the slab over here and I, right there i think 
yeah, there we go. So it's kind of like refurbishing the old style. So it's like, it'd be like as if somebody found that crippled old building there and decided, okay, well, we're gonna just kind of take that over and make it into our own. And I think it looks really cool. I really am quite a fan of this. And you know what? Let's add a teeny weeny bit of, this is gonna be a moist area because of the leather working that's going on. So might as well add some of this mossy cobble in. And I think that looks good. So now I think we move on to the inside. Boy, oh boy, I think they had access to a freaking bed and they bred and I think there's one more in there than there was before. But don't you worry guys, we're getting you all set up with some houses. Uh, you get a house and you get a house and you get a house. Now, if any of you are nitwits, however, all you're getting is the sword. Hello, sir, would you like to move into our village? We have new houses available. Uh, depends on what you're selling, I suppose. Garbage, 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 garbage. Never mind, no more vacancy. Okay, so now the living room is done. I, it's just very simple. It's nothing to write home about, just a simple couch. Uh, I think I am gonna add just a little bit of shelving right here, uh, I do believe. And then a little bit of flower action up here. Um, but I just don't have any, uh, there's some clay smelting currently. Uh, but don't have that right now, so not going to worry about it for uh, the moment. Uh, and then we're going to put a book bookshelf here with a flower, and I think that'll be good. And so that is the leather worker done and dusted, looking fine and nice. So I think what I would like to do now is tackle this build, this build, and potentially back in there, I don't know. Um, I'd like to do these two at least, uh, get them kind of wrapped up. So let me go ahead, do a little bit of building off a camera some more. Um, and I also want to go through and texturize all of the buildings as well, just so that it's uh, not looking as totally cobblestone -y. And uh, I'm going to go with kind of this theme right there, the andesite diorite combination uh, and stone. No stone brick. I need to kind of modify that a bit. And uh, then we can kind of, yeah, figure something out. But I do want to texturize all the buildings. So let me go ahead and do some building and stuff. And then we'll have some final results to look at. Okay, so lots of work has been done. If I seem a little out of breath, I just chased down the neighbor's dog a few minutes ago and uh, saved. Oh, hello, farmer. You're a farmer though, you're not supposed to be in the leather worker's shop. Woo, man. The uh, neighbor dog apparently got off leash and then somehow, and I say neighbor dog, it was like two blocks away almost in terms of our neighborhood area. Managed to get right onto our front porch and Mavericks was going absolutely berserk. Um, so that was <laughs> an adventure, but I managed to rescue the dog in getting, getting them back to their owner. So that was good. But looky here, we are done with a few of these houses and this area is starting to look real nice. And I can't wait to actually have villagers populating it. I think it's gonna be very nice. We have plenty of them over there, so that's, that is good. So what do we have done? Well, we did the leather worker, finished the interior for the most part there. It's a little bland, but it doesn't really matter to me. And then I also have finished up the Fletcher. I did the exterior of the potion shop. Uh, the potion shop area, I guess, is done then. Uh, interior, not done, but that's okay. Um, and then I did the Mason and yeah, the Fletcher. And I think Fletcher is probably my favorite, probably the most cool looking. Um, and then the Mason workshop is pretty cool as well. I did not get all of the texture variation done on the houses though, but let's go and take a look. So this is what we did on camera, of course. Didn't really change much of anything. The only thing I did change was the interior. I made the uh, couches, the bed, so two villagers can live here uh, and maybe become leather workers and stuff. I think that could be good. Um, on the p potion shop, I did do some texture variation, just adding in some stone, but I ran out of stone, so I'm not gonna do that until a little bit later. The potion shop is gonna be really cool, I think. So I went with, uh, similar to all of these, I've been trying to make kind of the build have a little bit of this older style uh, in it, and I think that's really cool. Um, that really freaked me out. I just saw it like moving in the side of my eye and I got real freaked out by it. Um, so the potion shop, I tried to make it so it's like as if the um, shop itself was the portion of the old house and they've revamped it to where 
they've they've got kind of a, this platform that they can sell from both this side and this side to get their potions or whatever maybe they also brew drinks and stuff or what i don't know what the villagers would need a potion shop for but it's almost like a stall but a bigger stall if that makes sense i guess all of these are kind of like bigger stalls except for the mason the mason doesn't really have a shop per se uh, but they do have an area where they work so I think this is real cool. Now, the this is not fully finished because we don't have the actual like potion brewer, which I think will go on the bookshelf there. And then I'm going to get some sea cucumbers to put into the uh, call the whatever that thing is, the cauldron. And uh, then you can put sea cucumbers on top and it'll look like it's actually cooking something. Uh, and uh, currently we need to sleep. So let's go ahead on into the potion shop. As I said, nothing is done in here. And we're gonna save the Fletcher for last because I think it's the coolest. Mason is uh, done. Interior is also done. Very nice little quaint area. We've got a little fireplace, a little teeny tiny kitchen, little sitting area. Uh, then you go upstairs, you've got a little sitting uh, bed area with the chimney and stuff. A little window out to the front. Looks very nice, just very simple and quaint. Then we go around the side to the Mason's area. That is his, they, their shop area, I guess, or their workstation. And I decided to make it, this is like the remnants of their the building that they attached onto it. So it's essentially like the villagers built up their own using the materials they had and they could work with. Um, and they just revamped whatever they could to work for their needs. So this used to be an, a house that was built right up to the actual aqueduct, um, but instead now is a workspace for the mason. So we've got the little mason area, we've got a stone sort of uh, uh, thingamajig palette, and uh, got some clay as well to work with for, I'm, I, I would assume they do some form of maybe ceramics or something as well. Um, and then, yeah, I think it looks very cool, very masony. I'm using andesite as, uh, I want to use andesite along the riverbed as sort of rocks and stuff. I think that could look really good. Um, but I'm also using it, uh, it's a little bit of a dirtier roughed up stone, which I think makes sense as there will be pebbles and stuff all over the place. It'll be a little more gritty. And I think that looks good overall. And then we've got kind of this, uh, this, it's a two, I've made it into a two way sort of fire, but I'm at, I envision this as a, uh, more like a blast furnace almost type of situation. Um, but wanted there to be a fire as well on the inside. So I think it was the best of both worlds. Get a nice chimney as well. I think it looks very good. And then last but not least, the Fletcher, which is probably my favorite one. The build itself, is pretty simple. I mean, the house itself is the exact same, just added a little turret, made this little stick out bit right here. And this entire building, I was going to say, is like this entire section, this L, is as if it's like the old building. And so they just attached this side portion. You've got the fletching area where they make all their stuff right here. They've got all the different tools and stuff that they need, all the different examples to be able to give to people as well. Uh, villager actually can't even get out of this area. So if they uh, get in here and then they can't get out the front door, they can't get out this area either. Um, and this I thought was a really cool idea. I saw a similar idea from a an older Mythical Sausage video. Um, and thought I would take it and spin it my own way. And so we've got this sort of archery range area and we've got the target block acting, of course, as the target. And then I put the two town bells here because I thought that was kind of fun. You could shoot those with arrows and they actually ding. Uh, so I thought that was kind of a fun thing to give a little bit of an elevated view since this cliffside is gonna be here, which you can see I have practiced out building it to see what it was gonna look like. I figured there needed to be at least a bit of a sort of slope to it, not just a sheer cliff. Um, and I think that is gonna be right up there is the level. It also makes sense because the archery range type of thing is right here. If they were to miss, it would just go right into the cliffside and not go and you know shoot a villager in the face uh, because we don't want that. And I think, yeah, this is a, a really fun build. The interior here is nothing too special. It is legit just a bed. I will do a little bit more. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna really utilize up there. I think that's just gonna be an exterior sort of thing. Um, but I, I thought that it was a, a cool looking thing. So if you wanna get a little bit closer up, look on the cliff side here. Nothing too particularly special, uh, but what we're gonna be doing, what I plan on doing, is uh, on this side of the aqueduct from right, like these two blocks on, maybe a little bit more, is gonna be down to this flat area and it's gonna kind of flatten out. Maybe we'll have a little bit of a dip up or something in the middle there. 
uh, but relatively will remain flat. Uh, and then it's gonna start going up onto a hill section that is gonna end onto this level right here. And then of course, this flat level is gonna go right up to the hillside and then we'll make it maybe go up just a little bit uh, once it gets closer. And then this pathway can kind of come down and either come down this way or it can kind of go through and you actually have to go that way to get up to the uh, villager breeder. Uh, so all coming together, I think it is so far looking very nice. Now look at the skyline we have actually got houses and I think it's looking very good. I'm really happy with it. So still have the cartographer to do. Haven't done anything with that um, except build up, I guess, the exterior. And then we also need to do the interior of this and get the potion brewer going. Uh, and I'm also going to put a tree area here with maybe a bench or something. I think that would look really nice. So then we can get some uh, sort of natural stuff going on. Um, and then, oh, yeah, I forgot on the stonemason, I decided, you know what, might as well add just a little bit of a garden on the backside. And this is what I kind of want to do uh, with the backside in terms of the andesite. This is just a really small example, but I want to add just occasional little rocks sticking up to indicate kind of the cliff section. I think that could be really good, uh, even dotted along this uh, sort of wheat field area. I think that would be really nice. It'll break up this as well to make it feel a little bit less of a dirt cliff and more actually like an, a stone cliff. But that is going to have to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed and uh, definitely leave any comments down below as to more buildings you would like to see. I'm thinking two fishermen will go back behind the leather worker house right there. And then, of course, we're going to be finishing up the blacksmithing area. But outside of that, for this area in particular over here, give me some shop ideas. I would love to incorporate some of your guys' thoughts and opinions on into this area over here because this is going to be a much more creative, fun area to work in, not going to be working necessarily into this uh, sort of house shop area and more into market stalls and kind of more interesting builds. I think that'll be really fun. But as I said, if you like, if you like the video, leave a like in real life and I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>